lately. There's been so many renovations up here and the place is like movie magic. My friend Tina, who owns Soul Photography, is going to teach me how to get the most out of my new iPhone camera so I can capture all of the moments and pass it on to my family and friends. So come along with me and learn with me how to get the most out of this wonderful place. So I'm here with Tina. She is the owner of Soul Photography and she's here to teach me how to get everything I can out of my camera phone. And I'm so looking forward to learning everything you have to show me today. Yeah, let's go. Yay. Hey, oh, Otto's here. You ready to model for us? Yeah. Perfect. We are gonna try to do a reflection photo. Autumn is going to be acting like she's holding the umbrella and we're gonna do some camera tricks and um, we'll just show you how to do that. We'll show you the final product. So Autumn, will you get in position for me? So we're gonna use Monica's phone. You kind of need two phones to do this one. Or you can actually use an Apple watch or any kind of watch that has a large reflection on it. We just aim it at the subject and we use our camera to bounce off the reflection. You can do Very however you want. Cool. Oh my gosh. I love it. Just mess around. That's half the fun. So effortlessly cool are the Beatles, and we have them here in Marion on a mural. Tina, what can we do with this? Monica, we're gonna make you the fifth beetle. Now scoot another step towards me. Perfect. Um, let me show you another trick too. If you go to portrait mode, we're gonna tap on Autumn's face and a little sun will come up on the side and you can drag it down or up to make it lighter or darker, which is really cool. That I is mean. cool. And then why don't you smile, Autumn? I love how that's framed with the word love on top. Yeah. Perfect, perfect. Love. Here we are, downtown Marion still. This is local Crown Brew. What are some cool photo tricks that we can do here? I am gonna teach you, Monica, how, how to do live photos on your camera. We're gonna be just in your normal photo mode. And up in the upper right-hand corner is like a bunch of little circles. We're gonna turn live on, it says live. Perfect, and then we'll click on our photo. And if you go to edit, you click on the live button down here and you can pick out at which point you'd like to freeze the photo and use that as your main photo. It says make key photo, so you just click on that. You can always go back and edit it and change it to something else. My kids are gonna be so happy that you showed this to me. <laughs> I have another trick too. Okay. So we are here between Fox Comics and John Brown on the square, and there is this really fun mural. It's a guitar abstract piece of art. So now I'm gonna show you how to do burst photos on your phone. Okay. And to really show you how, how it's fun to do that and how it can be beneficial, we're gonna have Autumn come over here and do an action shot by jumping up in the air. Fun tip, if someone's gonna jump up in the air for you, the lower the photographer gets down to the ground, the higher it looks like they're jumping. And so to do the burst photo, so Autumn, I'm gonna give you a count, one, two, three, and then you jump. And I will have my thumb, I'm not gonna press the circle here, I'm actually gonna slide it over to the left. So here we go. Three, two, one. So, that just took 12 photos. We'll go to select, and you can go through and see the different motions she did. I think the first one was the best one. Yeah, that's so good. I love it. Anyway, and oh, wait. Whoa, I didn't even know this was here. What is this? This wall is so long. This would be awesome for a panorama. OK. Well, here, show me how to do a panorama here. Okay. All right, go to your photos, right. and then scroll. We're gonna find panorama. panorama. Piano. And it'll tell you if you're going too fast and you can see the progress that it makes as you're eating it. That is so cool. Monica, let me show you how to take a slow motion video right here by the fountain. Okay. We're in our camera. We're gonna go to slow motion. And then I'm gonna give Autumn a countdown. And then watch this. Okay, Autumn, ready, go. Oh, wow, it's so neat. And look at the water going in the back. Yeah, it's so fun. It was so fun. Yeah. So, Monica, we did a panorama over there with that long wall, but you can actually do panoramas vertically also. So, if you see something like the bell tower you want to take a photo of, you just get it on piano, and then you turn your phone, and then you follow the line, follow it up, and it works the same way. 
thank you so much. It You're was so, welcome. so fun. I learned so much. You made it so easy. This is Tina. She's with Soul Photography. Um, you can get a hold of her through Facebook. Yeah. Um, just type in Soul Photography. It's S O U L Photography. Um, send me a message. Uh, my phone number's on there. Whatever you want to do. Okay. So I'm going to stick around for a while. Um, this place is just as magical at night, and I'm going to use everything you taught me today, and I'm just going to have a blast. So awesome. Thank, thank you. you. So much. Yeah. Do you come here often? Yeah, it didn't work out.